a horrific weekend then for Brad Fittler and the New South Wales Blues as they watched two different centre candidates go down with respective injuries. Bradman Best, of course, had that horrific elbow injury in the late stages of their clash against the Brisbane Broncos on Thursday before Tom Trebojevic picked up a shoulder injury against the Parramatta Eels on Friday. Both of those guys are all but out of Origin 1 and uh, Trebojevic's case potentially the entire series. Best was, of course, one of the three options that Brad Fittler had originally touted to replace Latrell Mitchell along alongside Steve Crichton uh, and Matt Burton. Um, one of those guys you'd expect are now going to be there to uh, replace Mitchell, but the Blues have a more pressing issue, which is also to replace Trebojevic. Uh, I think there's, there's probably three players left in the running now, which is Crichton, Katoni Staggs, and Campbell Graham. Add Burton into that mix. Not sure he has the form at Canterbury to suggest that he can move from halves to centre, but he is reigning Daly M centre of the year, so it's going to be really intriguing to see what uh, Brad Fittler does there on that front. But the question now has to be, how much do these injuries actually impact New South Wales as we head into the Origin series? And the answer is quite a bit, because the centres for New South Wales last year were crucial. Uh, Latron Mitchell and Tom Trebojevic were both among the best players on the park for New South Wales. I don't think there's any dispute about that. Uh, they had heaps of running metres, uh, really, really good involvements all over the park. They had an ability to roam. Uh, and I think that's going to be lost a little bit as we move to more conventional centres, whether that's Crichton, Staggs, Graham, potentially Burton. Uh, but when you look at Queensland's back line and, and where they're picking up uh, the pieces this year, you're going to have Caelan Ponga, uh, Xavier Coates, Dane Gagai, Valentine Holmes. I think those four are dead set locks. And then you've got one of potentially Hamisa Tabuai Fido, Corey Oates, uh, or Selwyn Cobbo slotting into that other position. That Queensland back line is a lot better than the one they presented last year. All of those players are now in form, and I think that running metre difference between the New South Wales and Queensland back line really will diminish without Trebojevic and Mitchell, which brings, I think, this series right back into the mix because that was where New South Wales gained a lot of their dominance last year, and I'm not sure they'll have it as much without Mitchell and Trebojevic on the park.